And before we wrap up, I, I want to throw an Ann Coulter quote at you. She told the New York Times over the weekend that Trump is done and that everyone should stop obsessing over him. Uh, is this a statement that you agree with? What are your thoughts on a, a Trump 2024 run? Well, let's when you talk about uh, everyone needs to stop obsessing, I would say everyone in that statement, with all due respect, is the media, right? So the media loves to talk about Trump. The media loves to talk about the extremes, the AOC and and, and uh, the Bernie Sanders. Donald Trump does not define the Repub or a Republican and a Republican Party, just like Bernie Sanders and AOC don't define the average Democrat, right? We're defined by what we believe in as a whole local government, li you know, limited con uh, control on government, low taxes, those types of things, individual freedom. That's what defines a Republican. It's not a, a single individual. I know the the height, the exciting media story is Trump says this and the all the other extreme says that. But the vast majority of news you see now is about those extremes. We, I think both parties have handed our microphones uh, unwillingly sometimes to those extreme elements. And that's the fight. Look, when, when we were back in grade school, if you heard there was going to be a fight on the playground at three o'clock, where did everyone show up at three o'clock, right? They showed up on the playground. They wanted to watch the fight. Social media gets invented and they learn very quickly. There's money to be made in that fight because people are going to come. And they love the fact that everyone's kind of screeching from the hilltops on social media. Mainstream media finally catches up and they say, you know what? They're making a lot of money over there. We can make money here too by playing to those extremes because that's where the fight is. That's where the argument is. As opposed to saying what's the best thing for America is what are we getting done? Let's look at some positive things. I'm not saying you, you just ignore the, the fringes, but the yesterday's news of that statement that uh, Ms. Coulter said is more, I think, about the news aspects of it. The average American isn't focusing on Donald Trump and Bernie Sanders or AOC and Joe Biden. They're really focusing on, um, do I have, give me have a job? Are, are taxes getting lowered? Do I have more financial freedom and individual freedom? Do I have the ability to make choices for my family and where my kids go to school? And those are everyday issues that really affect people's lives 99% of the time. And that's why as a governor, I love being governor because I can affect those things really impactfully, I think for, for families in a very positive way. So, you know, I just think that the, I think, yes, as we get into 2022, you'll have more candidates. Folks are running for Congress, they're running for state office. Those candidates have to stand on their own merits. It's not just, the news isn't no longer just about the fringes. It's about those individuals. What are they about? Are they gonna look you in the eye? Can we trust them as folks that wanna lead our community, whether it's the planning board, governor, or US Senate, right? And so those candidates on both sides of the aisle will really, I think, control as they should, the message of the party, the message of what they're about and the message about what they can bring to their constituents. And so I think time heals that extremity wound a little bit, but as an elected official and a leader, I think we also have to drive forward and say, yeah, we have to be about getting stuff done. That has to be the first priority in the top news story and what we're not doing. And if we're just sitting around not doing anything, we should be held accountable for that too.